Hello gentlemen, I hope you're well. So in this video, we're going to go through the Jelly Jackpot Bot, which is a utility bot which you can use for any Ethereum, BSC or Solana token. It's free to use. They have a raffle or a jackpot. So the benefits of using this is you get extra volume and also it incentivizes people to buy and also rewards them for actually buying more into the token as well as potentially making profits on your token. So what you're going to do is I'll leave the link in the description to the bot. It's on Telegram. And you just want to add it to a group now. So I've got Jelly Bot here. And it's pretty si simple to set up. Once you've added it into the group, make it an admin. And then we're going to click start. And once that goes through, it will say add your token address. So I've got this token here. I'm not the devil associated with it, but it's got a good volume. So it'll be good for the video. And I just want to copy the contract address into it. It works the same on Solana, Ethereum, BSC. So the setup is exactly the same on all three chains. Now I'm going to set up the raffle and then we're going to go ticket prize. So this is the value of each ticket. A holder, if it's 0 0.01 and they buy one BNB, they get 100 tickets. That's how it works. So we're going to go with 0 0.01 per ticket. That's the prize per ticket. Now the prize of winning it is what we're going to set now. So let's say, for example, the prize pool, we're going to give 0 0.2 BNB. So for anyone that enters within the set time frame, they get a chance of winning 0 0.2 as well. Now there's an unlimited amount of buys and that's potentially what we're going to look at uh, with this. So a minimum hold time, let's say I want them to hold five minutes after the competition ends and we're going to run the competition because this coin is quite hyped. We're going to run it for 10 minutes. You can spread that out as much as you want. You can have a daily raffle. That's a good thing or something you could also look at. And once that's done, all you're going to do is double check prize pool, ticket, minimum hold, and of course the raffle time. So we're going to start this bot off in terms of start raffle now. Now I find that in between marketing, you know, sometimes you're getting calls or you're getting, how can I put it? more marketing or things to update or if you're going sleep it's good to run competitions is what i found so when buyers come in which they will be it will automatically come through on here now let's say for example you want to set up a i don't know if you can run simultaneously a jackpot setting so let's say you want to run a jackpot you can do equally as that it's pretty much the same you can write the pool amount spin prize and then obviously a jackpot. So how the jackpot differentiates or it differs would be it's a prize amount. Now there's no set time on it. I think you can set a time, but it's an unlimited and the jackpot grows each time. So the pool amount would be how much you want to put. And of course you can see the buyers coming in now. So these are a 0 0.05 buy. He received five tickets. So at the end, He's going to have that. So the value of the starting pool, let's say I want to start the pool at $40. That's what I'm going to start it off at. And then we're going to go add, we're going to increase the, let's say, let's make it a really small increase on that. Again, it's pretty much the same setup. You just got to know what the functions do. Spin prize. Again, we'll go with 0 0.01. And now we've got the jackpot and we can demonstrate in this video, we can start off the maximum jackpot. So sometimes it can get out of control. So it increases by a certain amount, let's say 1%. If it goes on for a while, uh, let's make the top prize 0.4, for example. I've run a jackpot as well before and it's gone really exponentially high, which isn't good. So that's a really good feature as well. And if you just want to budget, I don't know, $50, $100, uh, let's go into the value. You want it to increase, let's go 0. Point something small. And that's pretty much it. So now we can start also the jackpot, I believe. And that'll run. I would not recommend running it all together, if that makes sense. So let's say minimum hold time five. But you get the idea of setting the bot up. It's a powerful bot. It's genuinely free to use. There's no reason why you shouldn't have it in your token at some point. So I've started the jackpot. I don't know if it's going to clash, but yeah, the jackpot raffle is open. So in order for someone to buy, they have to spend that much. They win, and win a prize pool maximum. And 
that is a percentage so I'll put it obviously very low so if you do want to edit we can go into forward slash settings and now we want to go to jackpot and then we're going to increase I should have read it says percentage but let's say 1% each time so the jackpot if someone buys that amount 1% of that goes into the prize pool and then the jackpot will increase from there so I hope you've enjoyed this video it's really useful I'll share it around as well after I've made this video because I genuinely think we look for these things like last buyer competitions to add to our tokens and obviously increase our volume our holder amounts and also give back to the community we would rather not risk it on as devs we rather not risk it on risky marketing that we don't know is going to pay off why not give some of the marketing wallet or the taxes back to the community that's what i've always said and i always stick by that hope you enjoyed the video and take care